So what should you do when you break a string? It happens to everybody. Some people take it as a sign of like, yeah, but oh, it's so annoying. So answer A, should you come a cousily run to the net? I hope they win the point. Should you go for a winner or should you just hang back on the baseline, grind it and see if you can win that point? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you exactly what you should do and why. First thing you shouldn't do is stop playing the point. I see this so many times. We break a string, we're in the middle of the rally, and we look at our strings and it's like, you freeze and stop playing your point. So don't do that, that's not the answer. Second thing is that you don't wanna sit on the baseline and just grind and try to keep balls in play. This is also not the answer and I'm gonna explain why in one second. Third, you should make sure that if you do break a string that you don't go for a winner. I know it's the, like the cool thing to do and all the cool kids are doing it, but don't do it because why? When you break a string, your racket begins to lose tension, meaning that you're gonna lose control of what you're able to do with the ball. So A, if you stay back and grind and try to keep balls in play, guess what, with each ball strike, guess what, your racket's getting looser and looser, so the ball's gonna trampoline more and more. So you're gonna just have less and less ability to really control the racket. Same reason why you don't wanna go for a winner. You're gonna swing harder and your racket's getting looser, that's a recipe for disaster. So as funny as it sounds, yes, you should make your way into net as soon as possible. The reason why is this, when you make your way into net, you put pressure on your opponent to suddenly have to do something. They have to pass you. They have to uh, hit the ball in a certain location. And that's a lot tougher than just keeping the ball in play. And I really do mean get your butt into net as soon as possible. The other benefits of getting in net is because you don't have as much power, or sorry, you don't have as much control with your strings, just by holding your racket out there and using whatever's on the ball, you can hit a, probably a decent volley one or two times. So again, don't stay back. Don't stop playing and don't go for the winner. Make sure you make your way into net because that's the play. Put pressure on your opponent to go for something and hopefully they'll make a mistake. The other mindset is lastly, if they do hit a winner, it happens. But the difference is you didn't make the mistake, you made them earn the point. And if you can get in that mindset, it's gonna really help your game out. So make sure the next time you go out and you're playing tennis and you break a string, obviously we don't wanna stop, we don't wanna grind, but you gotta make your way into net.